Hey guys, this is Megan with ReachRight. I'm going to be walking you through how to upload a new event to your calendar system. So really from any page of your website, once you're logged in to your website, you will get that black bar up there that has all of your dashboard items. So we're gonna go up here where we go to new and we are gonna go down to event. It's gonna open up a new page for us where we're going to add our event title. I'm going to go ahead and call this one men's Bible study. Um, down here in this section is where you're going to add any um, information um, about your event. Um, whatever you really want to say about it, you can add in there. It can be long or short, your preference. Um, here we're going to choose our date. So I'll just pick the 27th. Here's your start and end times. Pretty self-explanatory there. Um, if your event is repeating, so you've got those recurring events where your men's Bible study might be every Wednesday or the 27th of every month, um, you've got options here for daily repeating, every weekday, every weekend. If you're putting in like your um, Sunday worship service, you've got some options there to play around with. So that is pretty neat. Um, I'm going to say this one's not repeating though. Um, you've got the option for an hourly schedule if you want to list that out, if you were, you know, hosting a conference or have speakers or anything that you want to lay out an hourly schedule, you have that there. Um, your event location, I've already got a couple um, addresses in here, but if you don't, you would just go to add a new location and put in the address there if your um, church's location isn't in here yet, or if you're hosting an event off-site, this is where you would add that so that your Google map will be right on the event page as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the one I've already stuck in there. For your event links, this is for if you are linking to CCB or Eventbrite um, for registration or anything like that, if you're taking payments for things, um, this is where you would add in your event link so that it would direct um, right over to those websites where um, you can have that stuff taken care of. If your event has a cost, you're not able to take payments through your website um, through this event form, um, but you could at least have the cost and the information so that your members will know. We're going to scroll over here and we're going to add a featured image for our event. It's always nice to have an image that way if it's um, something you want to share on social media um, graphics always look so much nicer than having nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one that's already in my library, but you also can obviously go and upload a file and just click and drag from your computer here. So I'm going to choose this one. Um, the images ideally need to be 1200 by 628 um, to be shared on social media and to fit um, in that section as they're supposed to. So we're just going to click set featured image. It's going to pop up there. We're going to go up here where it has um, event color. This is just kind of an additional feature on this new calendar system um, where you can start categorizing um, different categories. So I'm going to have all my men's events be yellow. This is really just for a visual. Um, I'm going to go up here and click my men's category. If you need to add a new one, this is where you would just add a new, type in what you want, click add new category, and it sticks it right up there for you. So. I've already got a couple in here, so we're going to go ahead and um, categorize that as a men's event. We're going to hit publish, and then we will go check out that event page and make sure that all of our information is the way we want it. So we're going to hit view post. So here's our featured event. Here is our title, our text that we have, our date, time, location, and the category are all listed conveniently over here. Um, I can easily share this event if I want to on my Facebook, um, Twitter, by the click of a button, so that's really handy. Um, here's my Google Map, and here's the countdown feature, so it just kind of, you know, obviously a countdown of how many more days are left to the event, so that's kind of neat. Um, we'll go over to the calendar page just to take a look at that, and here's my events. You'll see the difference. This event does have a featured image. The two above do not. So your ones with the featured images um, are going to get a little thumbnail of your um, picture there, which is just a graphically, more graphically appealing um, thing. So I would always recommend sticking one of those in there, but that is pretty much the gist of that. So pretty easy up here. Obviously, since we've got some categories, if somebody does want to just see 
your men's events, it's going to search your whole calendar for ones that you have tagged with those categories and it's going to just pull those up by itself. So that's always kind of a neat feature. So when you've got website visitors that are looking for something specific, any events going on for men or women, children, etc., they can easily just drop down. If you're categorizing those properly, then you're going to see those pop up. Okay, so and that is it. So pretty basic stuff.